Ladies and gentlemen, there's a new Johnny on Late Night. Dak TV presents Go to Bed with Johnny. And here he is, that beautiful piece of man. That is Johnny Thomas Appleseed. Hey, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Go to Bed with Johnny, the only show that should ever matter to you. Yes, <laughs> not like that stupid Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> I hate him. I can't stand that man. I don't know why. I've got no reason. I just, he annoys me. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, we got lots of news. Some people we haven't talked about for a minute, some new individuals who we're going to bring up in all of these headlines and all of these things. Uh, so we might as well just jump right into it. Am I right? I know I am. I always am. Let's start with our first segment of today's show, which is, of course, Broken News. Oh my gosh. Up first, we've got... B.B. Rexa, yes, B.B. Rexa is a singer, songwriter, does all the things, you know, performer, whatever. Uh, no, and apparently, she is calling out the tough response on her weight gain. Uh, I didn't know she gained weight. I haven't been watching or, you know, being a judgmental piece of crap on the internet, so... I, I don't care if she gains weight or not. But anyways, the pop singer-songwriter uh, was recently diagnosed with PCOS or polycystic ovary syndrome. I don't know anything about that. I do not have ovaries. Uh, but apparently, she didn't mince words when talking about her body changing in the public eye. Uh, she said, you know, we're in 2023. We should not be talking about people's weight, okay? And, you know, I agree. <laughs> My mother talks about my love handles sometimes when she watches the show. Yeah, it just cuts deep. So I get it, BB Rexa. <laughs> also in the news, we've got Kelly Clarkson. Yes, uh, every time I say her name, I just think of uh, uh, Steve Carell just saying, Kelly Clarkson, you know? <laughs> yeah, from the 40-year-old virgin. Kelly Clarkson has given some advice to Vin Diesel for, for his daughter. Uh, because apparently Vin's daughter wants to be a, a singer and a performer. So, you know, uh, she wants to pr pursue this music career. And who better to ask than Kelly Clarkson? You know, she does it all. She's not just a singer performer. She's also a host, a judge. Uh, she's writing a musical now, a Broadway musical. So she does it all, really. She's, the, she's a really good person to ask for advice. And apparently... Uh, Kelly's advice was to just keep pushing, keep hustling. Uh, she emphasized the importance of loving what you choose because you'll inevitably uh, get a lot of no's. Kelly opened up about her journey and she said, I think people only know me from American Idol, but you don't know what I did before and there's a lot of hustle in there. Kelly continued, do you know how many people said no to me? I get it, Kelly. I get a lot of no's, too. Uh, never from the people that I pursue as lovers, okay? They're always like, yes, I'd love to go on a date with, date with you, Johnny. Uh, and I get it. I mean, look at me. Uh, I don't quite understand saying no to Kelly Clarkson, though. I mean, sh she could sing anything. <laughs> Idiots. Look what they lost out on, okay? They could have had a slice of that check. And nope, not anymore. Now Kelly's out there doing bigger, better things, and she doesn't give a crap about the people who said no to her. Yeah, so that's good advice for Vin Diesel's daughter. You know, uh, his daughter is only 15 years old, so she's got a little time to, to work that out and figure it out. Uh, you know, I'm sure that dream will change. Dreams often do. You know, maybe she'll want to be like a lawyer or a doctor in the next five years. Who knows? She's got a lot of time. But if she does pursue music, hopefully she can sing. <laughs> you know, lots of tone deaf famous people's children out there thinking they can sing. I mean, look at JoJo Siwa. They gave her a little bit of fame and then she just thinks she can sing anything. <laughs> and she just shouldn't. <laughs> also in the news, we've got Netflix. Yes, your favorite cereal brand and streaming service. Uh, anywho... Netflix is supposedly cracking down on those passwords now, all of a sudden. I guess what they are going to do to start this process is uh, charge 
subscribers an additional $7.99 for every month if they have an account with people using said account in different households. Netflix, it's like you want to put the final nail in your coffin, okay? You know, <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be so bad for Netflix and so good for every other streaming service that gets to pick up your, your hit TV shows when you go bankrupt and close. <laughs> I don't know. I ain't paying $7.99 extra. I'm not paying nothing, okay? My mother might because I use her Netflix, but I am not, okay? <laughs> I'll tell you that much. <laughs> also in the news, we've got Celine Dion. Yay, she no near. Far, wherever you are. Yes, that's Celine, you know. Uh, she sings while Jack flies on the Titanic and then drowns. Uh, but anywho, Celine is officially canceling her tour amid health concerns and challenges. Oh my gosh. Uh, a statement posted on Celine's social media uh, read that she is so sorry to disappoint all of you once again. And even though it breaks my heart, it is best that we cancel everything until I'm really ready to get to be back on stage uh, before reassuring fans that she's not giving up, okay? Uh, that's really sad and disappointing, but if you are truly a fan, you should only hope for her health and well-being, okay? Otherwise, you are a selfish turd. <laughs> Celine may be there for a little bit of your entertainment, but she is also a human, okay? Not a robot. Or is she? You know? Who can sing like that and just keep putting out these bangers year after year and just belt them out, you know? AI. They're everywhere, so we gotta watch out. We don't know which celebrities are real humans and which are artificial intelligence, okay? It's really advancing, so... I mean, they literally use holograms in different shows for celebrities that are dead. Which, if anyone continues my show after I'm dead with a hologram and AI technology, I'm kind of here for it, okay? I want to live on forever. Yeah, I like that idea. Let's do it. <laughs> well, guys, that is all the broken news I got for you. But don't worry, because we got another segment, which is, of course... Hyper headlines. Oh my gosh, hyper headlines where the news is hyper and you know, so am I. <laughs> I just am sometimes. It depends on what I've drank, you know. Red Bull, it gives me wings and horns right in the head. I just turn into a little devil. <laughs> yeah, uh, but maybe that's the liquor I put in the Red Bull. I don't know. Anywho, Okay, first up in Hyper Headlines, we've got Terry Crews. Yes, Terry Crews is massive. He could punch me in the face and I would just be deceased. That'd be it. That'd be the end of me. You know, he does that peck dance all the time. He's like kind of famous for it, I think. Uh, but anywho, he is ready to reprise his role in White Chicks, which I honestly don't know if that movie can be made in today's climate. I love the original. I think it's hilarious. And I'm ready for a sequel. <laughs> Terry said that he is prepared for the White Chicks sequel. Uh, Vanessa Carlton and I stayed in touch with each other so we can work on new songs, he joked. Uh, of course, he's referring to the iconic, na 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 and I need you, you know, and he does the little head thing, and he, he does the dance in the car when they're going on their dinner date. Yeah. <laughs> He, he said he's staying in shape and he's ready to go whenever they're ready. So, uh, I don't know. Will we see a White Chick sequel in the very near future? I've heard lots of rumblings about it. So, we'll have to keep an eye out on that. Also in the news, we've got Shailene Woodley. Yes! Oh my gosh, Shailene. You know, she's always protesting things, trying to save the environment. And she uses all natural, natural like, uh, health products and like uh, cleansing products and apparently she kind of smells like a forest. Uh, 
I've never been close enough to smell her, so this is just hearsay, okay? Uh, but apparently her BFF, which I don't, I didn't know they were BFFs in real life, you know? I knew that they were in a lot of movies together, uh, but Miles Teller was spotted at the Taylor Swift Eras tour uh, with Shailene's ex fiance Aaron Rodgers, who you know how I, you know how I feel about him. <laughs> I don't like him. You know, he's up there with Kimmel and Kanye. Okay, yeah, it's just I should make shirts that say cancel Rodgers, Kimmel, and Kanye. Right? Yeah, just cancel all three of them because I can't stand them. Uh, apparently they were spotted together at the Eras tour, which is just weird. Why is Miles Teller hanging out with Aaron Rodgers? What is Aaron Rodgers doing? Okay, you know, when's he gonna retire? That's what I want to know. He's just gonna play a season over there in New York or wherever he's at now. Anywho, also in the news we've got Britney Snow. Oh my gosh. So Britney has been opening up about how this has just been a very challenging year. You know, she had a divorce that kind of flipped her world upside down, Will Smith in the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air style. And uh, apparently, she called on her Pitch Perfect family to come and help her out during that time because she said that they nursed her back to health after facing the hardest mental challenges she's ever faced over the past year. And she said, thank God for her friends. Uh, she didn't. She doesn't think she could have made it out without them and they remind her who she is and the things she stands for so that's great i love that this cast is so close now give us a fourth movie already okay <laughs> yeah i need another riff off in my life okay except let's just not do the weird action movie stuff that we did in the third one okay i still love the music and the the cast and it still makes me laugh I just don't think we need uh, Fat Amy's father coming in to mess up the day, okay? Just add another a cappella group like Da Sound Machine, okay? Or the Pentatonics. Give them a bigger part. They played like a Canadian group in the first one or second one or whatever. Anywho, that's great for Britney Snow and I'm glad she has her friends there and I'm just glad that the Pitch Perfect family is just stronger than ever out here. Yeah, we love to see that, you know, that crossover into the reality of the real world and they're still friends that's great okay i've worked with some people and we're friends on camera but in real life i'd shank them right in the back I'm not even kidding <laughs> also in the news we've got britney spears this time not britney snow britney spears uh you know we've been on britney watch for like ugh, a decade i don't know how long has everyone been watching Britney to make sure that she is still alive and uh, sane? Uh, no, apparently Britney is feeling grateful after reuniting with her mother, uh, Lynn Spears, who, you know, Britney made many lengthy posts about how she can't stand her mother and she is canceled. And uh, apparently now they're reuniting and connecting and Britney opened up saying, you know, she just feels grateful and she feels uh, thankful that she was able to release all these things that she's been holding in for so long, so many years, and she just feels blessed. Uh, and apparently with family, there's always things that need to be worked out, but time heals all wounds, she said. And I don't fully agree, you know? I have an uncle, his name is uh, Randall, and he actually got shot in the leg, and now that leg doesn't work. <laughs> so time does not heal that wound I'll tell you that Brittany okay so be careful saying stuff like that you know because my uncle Randall he is that he is going to be so angry <laughs> I give it I give it like two months before she starts angrily posting about her mother father sister uh, and everyone else around her Sam we can hope <laughs> but yeah. I don't know. Is Britney okay? Probably not, but whatever. If she's living her happiest life, then you keep doing it, Brit. You do you. Uh, I'm just not going to hit the follow button, okay? Because <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Anywho, that is all of the news that I got for you guys today. Yeah, we really went through that. It's kind of quick. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know how we did that, but there was quite a bit. So uh, it wasn't as depressing as last time, which that's great. We love that. We don't like depressing news, okay? It was kind of actually uplifting news, except for the people calling BB Rex a fat. They can suck it. Yeah. Uh, but don't you worry, because before I let you go, we got to find out what's in my drawers. Yes, what's in them? Oh my goodness. Oh, they're cold. Look at that. We got some bubblers. Bubbler, you know? Yeah, that's kind of what I say when I got a fart building up. Bubbler. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a bubbler. Anywho. Uh, no, bubbler. I have never tried one of these. <laughs> Never. Not once in my life. Uh, and, you know, oh, these are some interesting flavors. We got Triple Berry Breezer. Oh, that just sounds bougie. Breezer. And then Cherry Guava Blender. Yeah, Blender Bubbler and the Breezer Bubbler. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I don't know which one to try. Blue is a good color, you know, and red is one of my colors. So now I'm conflicted. What do I do? I'll just do this, okay? I'll just mix them up. I don't know where, which one's which. Okay, oh, oh my gosh, okay. Oh, switch it up. And then I'll pick, oh gosh, this is really actually confusing me. Which one is which? Oh my gosh, this is good for me, because I'll never know. Oh my gosh, you ever do this? It's kind of like when you need to make a decision and you've already made it in your mind. And then you flip a coin anyways, and you keep flipping until you get the side that you want. Yeah. Okay, I guess we're going with the Triple Berry Breezer. Oh my gosh. I think I almost blacked out there closing my eyes for that long. Jeez. Okay, Bubbler. Uh, the benefits of... Oh, they bubbleth over. <laughs> That's funny. You guys, are, you guys are funny, but I think you need to use some Grammarly. Uh, that's not a word, bubbleth. <laughs> uh, anywho, sure, the sparkling personality will make you fall in love at first sip, but then the real magic happens. Through the ever, what is that, evervescence? Okay, so you use words like bubbleth, and then you say evervescence? That's crazy talk. Okay, an awesome antioxidant swoop in to balance the body and focus the mind. Right before a boost of natural caffeine shows up to save your day, there's a benefit in every bubble and a happier you just waiting to rise up. Oh my gosh, did they put some happy pills in there? What do they do? Okay, let's crack a cold one here. Oh yeah, it's bubbling all right. Okay, bubbler, I will be very honest. So you better be good, okay? Oh my gosh, that's got a punch of flavor. I was just punched right in the mouth with flavor. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh, and it's got natural caffeine. I'm gonna be bouncing off the walls all night long. Yeah, like that Lionel Richie song, all night long, all night. Yeah, you know, that. I'll give this a solid 9.8 out of 10, okay? I don't want to give you a 10 because that way there's always room for improvement and growth. And it's very important to always have growth and improvement in life, okay? So yeah, Bubbler. Hey, if you want to send me a bunch of Bubbler or Bubbler merch, I will take it and I will drink it, wear it, do something with it, okay? So don't be afraid to hit my line. I'm, I'm always available for for some partnerships, <laughs> okay? Yeah, and I'll try all the flavors. How many do you have? You should let me know. How many flavors of Bubbler are there? Oh my gosh, it's gonna boost me, energize me, restore me, and give me balance, which I am lacking a little balance in my life these days. Well, anywho, that is all the news and all of the things that are in my drawers. So, I gotta let you guys go. But I hope you learned something new. I hope you had fun. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. Leave your comments down below. And I will see you guys later on in the week with a whole bunch of brand new news. Hopefully, good news and not depressing news. Okay? <laughs> yeah. 
All right. Good night, everybody. Good night. Yes. Mr. Bubbler. Hmm. Oh, my gosh. I could pour this in a, a glass of vodka, you know, pour a shot of this into a glass of vodka. That's a good idea. I should try that. Yeah, you know, make sure I get the measurements right in my, my cocktails. <laughs> yeah. You booze, you never lose. That's what I always say. Yeah. But this is good too on its own, you know? <laughs> Virginized. I don't mind it. I like it a lot, actually. <laughs>